All right. Thank you guys for tuning in and watching. Thank you all for the comments. I do appreciate the ones. I'm trying to learn more about the X's and O's. Obviously, I know football. And if I get something wrong, I do apologize. I take criticism very well. I will admit when I'm wrong. And I am wrong on Josh McDaniels. You know, last year was last year, whatever. I wanted to see what he could do with his guys, everybody on the same page in his system. And it's not great. And I am on the train of getting rid of Josh McDaniels. I'm going to show you guys two plays to start off with before we get into some good and then some obviously a lot of bads. Okay. I'm just going to run the tape without telling you anything. See if you can notice what's going on wrong here. Okay, that's the first play. Here is the second play. Interception, and that's to seal the game. So, if you can notice, and then I'll put on the screen, not very good. I'm still trying to figure out how to like do the route patterns and draw on the actual screen. It's basically the same play, right? So the first play that you saw, and we'll revert back here a little bit here, this formation a little bit tighter, that happened at 5 minutes and 19 seconds in the fourth quarter, okay? And obviously, it's just a pick play. McDaniels loves his pick plays, and you know what? That's fine. Short yard of situations, we need to get it in. That's fine. I'm all for it. Um, Devontae's going to just do a little bit blocking. Immediately, he uh, O'Connell's going to roll out to the right. Devontae's going to get some sort of blockage, and, you know, maybe if he throws it now, it could be good, right? But he's a rookie. It's his first game. Whatever. I get it. It's fine. Okay? The next play, where you need something, which it's like, dude, you have Josh Jacobs. Why aren't you running it at least once? I, I don't understand that. It's a little bit of a different formation, right? You spread it out a little bit more. Um... 11 Hardy, right? That's his name. He's going to run a slant. Um, so a little bit more variety, but still, the, what you're looking for is the pick play. Again, the same two dudes, just a little bit different formation. And this is what happens when you run the same exact play and concept two times in a row in the same situation, Josh. You're going to get fucked. Same thing. A little bit of a like stutter like, and then Devontae, I mean, I don't know, maybe he fucked that up, right? I mean, he just kind of left that guy clear, but teams are going to figure shit out, especially if you do it back-to-back -back series in the same situation. Like, fuck McDaniels. You need to be fired. I know it probably won't happen until the end of the year or unless we get, you know, completely embarrassed even more. But, man, that's just horrible. How do you do that? How do you run the same fucking play? I just don't understand. All right, let's switch gears a little bit, talk about some good. Um, I guess it was the only good thing out of this game. Tyree Wilson, finally just showing a little bit of flashes. He's going to be right here. And just watch him. He's just going to completely t t overpower his guy. It's going to be a good play. See? Overpowers his guy, gets in on the tackle. Great play. That's the only one I noticed. I didn't really dive into his uh, stats. Maybe I'll have it on the screen and post of how many snaps he played. But, you know, that was good. Um, this one is going to be a great play. I won't tell you what's wrong with it until after the play. It's going to be a good play for us, right? Max, just destroying everything. It's a fumble. We recover the ball. Oops, it went to the next play. Um, what went wrong? Well, you see the flag? That was the offsides on 23. You can't have that. You just can't fucking have that. How hard is it? How fucking hard is it to just look where you're lining up, man? Come on. Just negates an awesome play by Crosby and gets us the ball. Like, are you fucking kidding me? Just terrible. Just fucking terrible, man. The fundamentals are just terrible. The next one, you just got to get them down. You just have to fucking tackle. It's just fundamentals, man. Herbert is a great player. I'm not saying he's not, and I'm not saying this is tough, but, like, dude, look at Divine Diablo. Like, he stopped. Like, did you think he threw the ball? Sorry, I got to go back a little bit more. Like, right there. Do you, like, 
What? He turns his back? Like, wh what are you doing, dude? You have to... And a little bit goes into it of protecting the quarterback, but I didn't hear no fucking whistle. Man, that's just inexcusable, man. This is terrible. And then a great catch. It really, it was a catch. It was 100% a catch. Uh, this one, I will have to say, it's uh, a great concept. Ugh, great concept by the Chargers. So we're going to be in man, right? And then I think they're talking like, Saying, like, 23 is on his own. 23 got fucked up in this game, right? Like, okay, shit, I'm on my own. He's going to be covering Allen, right? And this going to be where they're at. So, it's unfortunate. Like, he's thinking, oh, maybe he'll break outside, right? You got this guy is going to cover this crosser. Because this guy, I don't know what the fuck he was thinking, to be honest with you. But this guy's going to cover that guy. So it's either Herbert's going to throw it right now, very short, most likely get tackled, or a pass breakup. Or he's going to notice this little pick right here, because this guy is so off of Allen, number 13. And he's, he's just going to wait, and wait, and get it. So if you want to revert it back, just watch the whole thing again. Perfect. Just a rub route, pick play. It was a great concept, Can't, you know. You wish we played it better, but um, this one is just going to be a flag on Myers, and even the commentators were just like, I, I don't understand this. So right at the top there. And they called it pretty late, too. It's just like, what are you doing? That really fucked everything up, because on the next play, we can't block. Couldn't block all game. Mac, yeah, we miss you, buddy. He does get chipped a little bit, but then still, it's just too good of a player. It, he really is. And then we get sacked. Um, and then the next uh, few plays later, we're punting it. Why the fuck are we punting it? We have the best kicker in the fucking league. We're indoors. We're on their 38. So at worst is what? A 55-yard field goal? Like, he's kicked those before. At this point, it's 24 to 10 with 10.43 left in the game. You, you want the points. You want the fucking points, man. Like, I, I just don't understand this. Why? Why? What are we doing? I, fuck the field position battle. We need points, man. That's just terrible. That is just inexcusable. So, I guess we'll run the punt. Um, the next one is going to tie into us not being able to block again. So, if we know at this point it's late in the fourth quarter, right? And we know we can't block. Why aren't we doing short throws? I understand we have to move the ball. We're running out of time. But we got to help our rookie quarterback and do short throws because we're just getting fucked up on the line. We just are. All our guys are so far away. And look at the penetration. We're fucked. We're just fucked. Oh, oh wow. We have one guy over there. Which... It's just inexcusable. So what's this count? Let's just count how much time he has. One, two, three, three and a half, four-ish, right? Maybe he, if he can move around better, I get it. He's a rookie for his game. But just, like, seriously, like, why aren't we just having a quick slant on, like, every... Like, I get it. Have, have guys do verticals, but why aren't we having an inside slant right here if he's going to go straight and clear him out? Correct me if I'm wrong, but... I just I just don't understand that. Maybe just get sacked. Oh, uh, the next one, yeah, the pressure got to him. Um, I don't know. I mean, you guys can correct me on this. If we have Hunter in motion, if we have him getting separation and would want him to get involved more, why isn't he the first read? Immediately, O'Connell's looking to the right. Maybe that's from McDaniels. Maybe it's just from O'Connell. I don't know. But if you look at Hunter, he's getting pretty good separation. And he's going to do a little stop and zig. I know the pressure's coming. But if you trust your timing, trust your guy, throw it now to him out of the break. Right? I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. Like I said, I'll take criticism. But I, I don't know. I mean, we do get stopped at the one, which some bad ref calls on in this game as there always is 
Um, and the next one is just another one of not being able to tackle Herbert. It just it just doesn't make any sense for us. Like, right there, should be wrapped up. It just should. If we have good players, good fundamentals, he should be wrapped up. It's a huge play for us. He's fucking injured as it is, so it's just like, come on, guys, like, tackle the motherfucker. Anyways, that's it. That's that's all I got. Those are just some ones that stuck out to me. You know, everybody talks about, you know, five plays a game where shit could change the outcome. And, you know, these were definitely uh, some of them. But it really, for me, it just goes back to the first two I showed you guys where it's just the same fucking play, man. It's just, whole, to me at this point, it's just fucking funny, man. It just really is. It's like, McDaniels, you're a fucking idiot. NFL teams are good. They're smart. The other team is smart. I don't care who the fuck you're playing. They're smart. They're going to pick up on it. Even the players are going to pick up on it. Like, they, oh, oh, they ran the same thing in the same situation. Let's pick the ball off and w lose the game for the Raiders and seal the game for the Chargers. Like, just horrible.